Now then, and welcome back to another episode of RimWorld. Now, today I've been working a little bit on the defence. As you can see, there's a building structure coming on around the outside edge just to defend it. Especially down the bottom here. This was our weak spot. This is where everyone was coming in and destroying our base last time around. So I've got a load of embrasures and wooden wall just around here. Just cheap wooden wall. Just simple. I had tons of wood so I thought I'd just make it cheap wooden wall. The internals will still be nice and stone. But the cheap wooden wall, easy to repair, easy to replace, all that kind of stuff. All the way around just to define a bordered edge. A home area that they can't get into without a fight. Yeah. Uh, but while I'm doing this up here, and I don't know if this little building thing has anything to do with it, this little bit of wall or whatever, that's that's got something in there, I'm sure. Uh, I don't know if that's got anything to do with it, but people are starting to get these um, sensory mach uh, machinites, or mechanites. Ensure they have a medical bed and a doctor. Make sure White gets proper treatment and spends as much time in bed as possible. Well, all of these have picked up this kind of, I don't know... A sensory mechanites. Um, it enhances their manipulation, it enhances their talking, it enhances their sight. Um, but they are in pain from it for some reason. And um, yeah, so there's a lot of things going on. Well, yeah, Branagh had a little bit of a fight with a fox. But apart from that, everyone seems to be getting sorted at the minute. Um, they're, they're just being dealt with by the looks of it. it needs tending, that's all. They just come and be tended. And I don't know if that's all I need to worry about, because quite a few of them have been infected by these sensory machinites, or me mechanites, sensory mechanites, and I'm not sure what I want to do about that. Uh, another thing that I've done differently, thanks to comments in the, uh, well, comments by viewers, was get rid of the shields off my ranged combat wombats. <laughs> my ranged combat wombats was supposed to be using the shield to stop them, but it only works in for melee. It stops melee people from getting damaged. Um, it stops them using ranged combat, so therefore the shield idea was no good whatsoever. I do have a few cool things though, like a bit of power armor, was worn by a corpse, um, shields and armored vests, which I need to organize and sort out my troops in a bit to get them to into a fit state. Um, one thing now though, we've lost this uh, kind of garden area down here that we had previously. So we've got all the wood we need, which is good. And we've now got food galore. We've got the meat synth, we've got rice plants, we've got potatoes, and we've got hay grass for the animals. And now I've just installed this little patch of heel root so that we can keep our medical base supplied up. Uh, it does appear that we've run out of heel root. Uh, medical supplies so I hope that the people who are in need of treatment because of that um, mechanites are going to be okay uh, sensory mechanites yeah we'll need tending in a day uh, we'll, mild pain we'll need tending they, they, they build up an immunity surely and then they will be enhanced forever let's hope I don't know now it's going to work Spiders there now tending, but nobody's got anything to tend them with. Hmm. So I've got a little problem there. Let's see if there's anything that can be harvested out of these. No, nothing. So I'm going to struggle with that. I'm going to struggle with that in a great deal. And what are you lot doing? Consuming ripe pl rice plants. There's all this hay. I've got a whole hay storage system. And you're eating all my rice. You stinkers. You stinking great big fat elephants. Eating up all the rice plants when there's all this hay down here. What you get? Oh well, never mind. Uh, <laughs> never mind. Easy come, easy go. Uh, we we seem to be sorting things out a lot better now, right? So I'm happy with the um, the general gist. I'm just it's that machinites. I'm not sure about them. I'm not sure about how it's going to work with them. Uh, I would like to know more about them. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of research to see just how far I can push this not having um, not having them treated or not having treatable things going on. Because there's only one minute that doesn't have um, any problems. Oh, wait a minute. No, he's just recovering from that fox fight still. Okay, well, <clears throat> anyway, regardless, we have to go and 
move a little bit of stuff around here and there because they've rebuilt everything, they've tidied everything, they've thrown all the dead bodies away, they've cleaned up, they've tidied up, they're fixing up some of the gear, they've thrown all of the resources that we've picked up off all the dead bodies into here and we're, we're looking good right now, we're looking good. We've enclosed the area, it's feeling better, it's just those mechanites. Ah, Branner is now already fully tended. And those with the mechanites, they don't seem to be struggling with anything. It seems really weird. Um, they, they do have mild pain from them, but it gives them bonuses for healing and manipulation and talking and stuff. So I don't know whether I should worry about it too much. Um, or whether it's a good thing overall. And how did it get infected? Could it be that when we were building this wall, we were strained too close to this thing over here? And we got a, uh, a medical benefit from it all. I don't know. We shall wait and see. I'm going to carry on a little bit more just finishing up and sorting out uh, the, the clear up. And bring you back if anything happens in the meantime. Okay, well, Stormy Night. Time for the first problem. We've got a couple of zombies. Really simple, right? A couple of zombies. Really easy. But now we've got the defences. Let's test it out. Another thing I've got a bit of a problem with at the minute is that this thing is fizzing because I did not sort out a roof zone. Um, so let's uh, add this whole section as a roof zone. I guess. Yeah. Well, that, that should hold the roof up a little bit there. Uh, let's build a copy of that for this corner over here, shall we? And hope the best for keeping most of the most of the rooftops up. Where does that one go to? That one goes to about there. So that one goes to about there. And then this one goes to about there. Maybe that'll work. Cover all this over with a roof and hope for the best. Because we've just put in the, the electric smeltery to make steel and the stone cutter table to turn all of this raw granite into blocks. And they need a better result, don't they? Uh, so, how are you getting on? Zombies, where are you? Oh, they're coming up this way. Okay, so let's get uh, our three soldiers ready for action over here. Yeah, let's go. Come on. Bring them over here. The zombies are miles away. Can we shoot them from there? I've now, I've now got rid of any sign. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where are they going? Uh, let's bring them. Now got rid of any shields that they may have had. Right, that's it. Now, double gun and go off where you went. I've now got rid of any shields that they had, so nothing to worry about there. Uh, and they don't have any apparel. Okay, so in the morning, you can uh, prioritize hauling. That's reserved for Bran. And that one is Bran. So Bran, can you prioritize? Hauling. I don't want to haul it necessarily. I want to bury it. I want to. I want to bury it. Is that the last buried hole? Have I filled all of these holes so far? Twenty of twenty. Nine of twenty. Seven of twenty. Okay. So it's because I've got some kind of um, location that I can store dead bodies, which I believe was in here somewhere. You can store dead bodies in here, guys. I said. And now they want to store all the zombies in there. That's pretty gross, isn't it? Uh, let's see. This automatic door is about ready to be built as well. Green, can you come and finish this? Yeah, can you prioritise finishing that off please? And then we might get something working over here. Um, I don't know about supporting for the, uh, the ceiling. That's the next thing to check out. I would like it to be a nice open space like this with a few supports around just holding a roof up. Um, but not too close. Uh, with the lightning going on and all that kind of stuff. We do have a few issues. What are you doing now? Beating fire out. You're the closest one to beat that fire out. The, the rain will beat the fire out, mate. They'll beat. You go and have a rest. Go and have a sleep. Go on. Oh, that was a point. That was another thing that I was meant to be doing, wasn't it? I'm sorting this out. So let's build a copy of this across here. Let's make this a building across here. Um, I don't think I need to worry about that anymore, but meh, let's uninstall. Let's reinstall it over here. Just in range. 
just in range of this would be there. Let's reinstall that orbital transfer thing over there out the way. All right. Okay. Well, let's let's get the night and the storm gone, and we'll see what happens in the morning. Okay. Well, roof support-wise, things have worked out nicely. This area up here is now covered in a roof, making this uh, more. Uh, well, it's technically still outdoors, but better overall. Um, I've got two storage areas here, so I could just bring this, uh, build a copy of the wall section and bring this down here. Um, I think this probably means this is outdoors as well. That's probably a thing that it uh, locks it down as outdoors as well. I'm about to find out whether these fences mean that this section is outdoors or not. Um... And I wanted to find out where that went up to yet. So we'll do a copy of the auto door. Will it fit there? No. So we need a copy of a normal door. So just build a normal door in that section. Uh, let's get rid of that roofing thing there. Um, so structure. Um, security. We've got security barriers and deadfall traps and sandbags and all that kind of stuff as well that we can put in around the places. Uh, but for right now... We're just worried about these little bits, aren't we? Uh, and seeing if this will be under cover. Still technically going to be outdoors until somebody puts a door on there. And then maybe I need to refresh this section as well. Are we up, McIntyre? Are you sleeping out in front of the stars? You're watching the sunrise. Oh, what a way to spend the morning. Well done, McIntyre. I'd love to see a sun sunrise one day. Instead of just a sunset every day. Sunrise in a nice place. When I was on holiday, sunrise in a nice place was something that I went and did because, well, you know, it's pretty cool looking. Uh, right, next thing. Have they still got the... Yeah, they have. Still got these sensory mechanites. Um, mechanites. Um, Vaz has got it as well. Severe pain right now. Mild pain. Yeah, it's saying that they still need tending. 11 hours. 16 hours, 11 hours, white, 6.5 hours, or what? Tending or what? Any of this ready for harvest yet? It's only 50 something percent growth, but we have harvested some, so there's a thing. Can we harvest the rest? Can I uh, harvest any of this? Oh, I can harvest some more. That's good. We can get some heel root sorted for their uh, their evening. That stinker, you better not be... You are consuming heel root. No way, stinker. That is not on. Get away from it. Right, I'm going to slaughter this animal if I'm not careful. Right, let's, um, let's um, manage the area safe zone. Um, safe zone. Let's redraw safe zone so that he can't go into safe zone. Oh my days. I can't believe it. Um, clear allowed areas for safe zone. Okay, so you are not allowed in our food. That is not part of the th deal. You can go and have this food down here, but you can't have our heel root and stuff. Uh, and oh, let's say that none of that's... Oh, actually, no, that needs to be safe zone for them to to move things around, don't they? So let's just not let them walk right next to the fence. How about that? That'll do for safe zone. Okay, so they've got safe zone here and here and here. But that means that they've got food. So Stinker, get out of the way. Yes. Oh, Stinker was eating all of our heel root. No wonder we didn't have any medical supplies. The elephants have been eating it all. The elephants have been eating all the medicine. How crazy is that? Now they can eat all this hay. That's okay. You can carry on eating all that. Eat your body weight in hay. We've got plenty of that stuff. Oh, my dears. Okay. Mad animal. Where are we going? Let's jump to the location. What have we got? Uh, it's a mad bomber. Okay. So we don't want anyone going out the south. So we'll forbid that way. Forbid through these doors. Nobody go out there. Green. Um, you are going to need to get in fast. Let's unforbid that. Green, get in there quick. Thank you. And then we'll forbid that. And then green can go about his business. Actually, green. 
could potentially fire through there. <laughs> Pot shots. Pot shots, Adam Green. Come on, there we go. Yay! Well done. Well done. Sorted. Alright, so, yeah, now we can stop doing that and stop worrying about that stuff. Awesome. Oh, I forgot about that, that door anyway there. <laughs> oh, well. Right, Green, can you uh, go and prioritize uh, already firefighting? Alright, we're going to prioritize firefighting that ra uh, rat. The boom rat. Put it out and then uh, go and heal it. Go and uh, haul it. Haul it up. I like the way that they're coming out to clean up the blood already now as well. Because I've done a few bits and pieces of uh, changing the work rate ratios, uh, there's a couple of dedicated cleaners. White and Rennie are dedicated cleaners. Rennie's also a crafter. She really likes crafting. And she was getting really upset at all the cleaning. So now Rennie is just over here just doing all of this uh, crafting all the time now. Which is also good. Which is also good. Uh, this needs to be changed to creating any stone blocks forever. Thank you very much. Now, can Spider do it? No, because it needs a crafter. So, White is set to crafting that. Uh, I need somebody who's not set to... Well, Rennie is set to crafting that. I need somebody who can craft that. Get it? You can craft that. Who's not a set steady cleaner. So, I need someone who's very quick at crafting. Seven, eight... Uh, nine uh, five banner banner is one of the five and should possibly be very good at that so let's take you uh, and put you on the crafting duties banner uh, banner can be set to be that reserve that Rennie you should be prioritized on refining there we go so now between those two, they should get all that crafting done for me and clear up the stockpile that I've got going on over here. Uh, this chunk storage stockpile is critical. I need this all hauling. Let's just put a haul on there for everybody else to go get some hauling done. Go on, do some hauling. While these guys are sorting all this out, I want you to put all that away properly, please, everybody. Go on, let's get going. Let's get going. And... The heal root. That should be Tarsa. Deals with the heal root. He's on about sewing the area. Let's take him prioritize cutting. Cutting the heal root. So we've got somebody able to do that. Now, all the heal root, please. Come on. Come on. All the heal root. There we go. Alright, and replant the heal root. Good job. Good job. Right, now Tarsa can carry on. But we've stored the heel root up ready. So now how much medicine we got? We've got five medicine in total. Okay. Now your health requires one day, 22 hours. You need tending now. So rest until healed, Vaz. And who's the other one? Colin. He's in intense pain. Needs tending in four hours. And uh, he's tending in a day. So Colin also needs tending. So... Let's get him into bed. He can't do it? Okay. Okay. McIntyre, can you tend Vaz the mercenary, please? Make sure we get some medication for those sensory machinites. Let's get those working on. Yeah. Okay. So he's fixed now. So Vaz is no longer in need of tending. Okay, good. So you are also in need. Okay, so that's one a day. You need a day again now. Anyone else? Was it just those few? It was just those few. How weird's that? That just those few had the problems. But they only need to de be tended every day. And then maybe they'll develop an immunity. Maybe. Uh, he needs to do it in two hours. Come over here. He's not injured. You're going to be injured in two hours, aren't you? Uh, and you need a day, so you've already been treated. You need a day, so you've already been treated. Okay, so there's quite a few of this section here. This section down the middle here. That all were sent to do something over by that house. And now they are suffering from these mechanites. 
Well, let them sleep it off. Let's see what happens. We can figure it all out. We'll work it all out. Let them clean up the messes that they've made around the place. Let them catch up a little bit. And we'll see what happens next. Okay, so I think we're surviving okay now. We seem to be uh, okay against mini little raids. Mini little raids don't seem to make any difference to me. Don't make a problem for me. Um, now I'm just working on a few little basic um, life upgrades, really. Just making it so that people have got proper beds instead of all of these sleeping spots that these guys are still sleeping in for some reason. Uh, we do have a new set of lovers. Uh, Vaz and Branna have decided to move in together. Oh, isn't that sweet? Uh, and, um, yeah, there's been no other relationships made yet, which is kind of strange. I was expecting more relationships around and about the place. Uh, but still, we're now progressing into the next stage. Uh, and this is still technically outdoors. Yeah, I thought it would be. Okay, so let's deconstruct a couple of these things. And then uh, build a copy of it over here. Oh, that's a bad place to put the, put the copy of it. Let's do cancel that. And build a copy of it there. Okay, and then get rid of that one. There we go, deconstruct all that. Get on with it, boys. And then that should make that indoors properly then, shouldn't it? Yeah, should be right. And I probably don't need that once I've done the walls. So I should be okay with the indoors like that. Good, good. Uh, and yeah, make a few bedrooms in here. Just simple starter bedrooms for them so that they can have nice places when they're first recruited. And they can upgrade from the real cheap sleeping spots in the barn to the slightly better marble walled uh, cells. <laughs> they're going to be virtually cells, the same as these. We're just going to build a little cell, uh, set of uh, cell chambers over here just to give them something. Um, to, to sleep in that's a little bit better and then they can upgrade to these bigger rooms when they become either married to the top five or what whoa you okay yeah you okay i thought they were disappearing for a second there um, i'll just want to check through this health issue again right so every time i've checked this so far they seem to be okay they're just in severe pain and i can do something about pain with pain medicines and stuff uh, but they don't seem to be dying from it, which is kind of good. But they don't seem to be dying from it. Um, another thing that I've spotted while I've been doing this is now I've kind of learnt a few lessons. I'm starting to think that maybe it's worth us starting a season two. So uh, before I record next episode, can you... If you've watched this far and you're watching the series regular, can you just leave in the comments down below whether you want to see me start a season two fresh with some new mods added to this little mod pack of mine? Or would you prefer that I continued going on with this mod pack as it is and this save with these people as they are? Or would you prefer that I tried to upgrade the mod pack and continued with this save with a new, a few additional mods to the mod pack? Let me know in the comments down below and I will get on with it ready for next episode. Uh, for now though, we're still motoring on. We're going to get all these kind of stuff. Green seems to be failing construction quite a bit. Now, I don't understand this because he's got a construction of 17. How could construction 17 lead to any kind of problems with doing stuff like that? It's just weird. Um, let's have... Let's have what type of floor? Let's just have a wooden floor all the way through this building. Uh, yeah, why not? Let me get on with that as well. Uh, green, just finish off all of that stuff. Redo these sections that you've had problems with. Try again, try again. Uh, they... They should be all completed fairly swiftly, and then I can put some electrics through them, I guess. And then that will work for that. I also need them to delete all of this wall so I can turn this wall into marble wall. Um, and then leave the gaps down the sides for them to access everything. Uh, I know it's a bit lopsided with a one gap access that side and a two gap access that side. Um, but that's just the way it fell, really. I might delete this wall here, actually and allow this to be outside um, maybe still undercover but outside undercover like a balcony um, that they can just view this area in but technically it'll be inside still won't it yeah but we'll see what we do about that uh, and now everyone's going to bed so the mech uh, the mechanites just don't seem to be doing anything negative they seem to be doing things positive if anything 
We do need some kind of painkiller. Uh, we are currently not messing around with drugs. Uh, drugs, we should be able to make drugs. And I think I just need a drug table in this. So, production. There is a drug table. Where was that? Uh, drug lab. There is a drug lab. And I could put a drug lab in somewhere. Let's see about putting a drug lab inside the doctor's area. Uh, and see what we can do when we've got a drug lab made. Buyers? Yeah. Don't worry. We've got one of those tropical storms again where everybody worries about the fires and all that. Uh, why are they going all the way around the outside there to come back in? Oh, because I don't have a way in here. Oh, of course. Okay. Well, can you prioritise deconstructing these walls then, please? So we've built these walls. Now everyone's going all the way around the outside there. It's weird, isn't it? But now they don't have to. Now they don't have to. There we go. Good. So now everyone can come around the easy way. <laughs> it didn't make sense for a second there that everyone was going all the way around the outside. But when that's the only way in, I guess that's what they've got to do. Yeah. Okay. But now they're sorted. Now they can get in and out this way around. Good, good. Okay. Excellent. Right. And uh, Branner is still very, very busy doing all that kind of stuff. I'm sure any smeltery stuff that we can, be do uh, can do will be done. Uh, and that's good. Okay. I might make another copy of this just in case. Uh, that's there. Okay. Well, we got mad animal. Jump to the location. It's a mad llama. Or apaca. Apaca. Alpaca, even. Mad alpaca coming down to see us. Uh, well, there should be no reason for us to go outside. So we're not going to be worrying about it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Colin, get inside. Colin, get inside. Colin. Get inside. Shoot. Now you can shoot it from there. Yes. Jolly good one. Love them. Okay. Yes. And yes. Hey. Awesome. <laughs> I like these embrasures. They work really well. But they do mean that this can't um, cool down. I found that over here that they, you can't do embrasures on a cooling room, but that's okay. Doesn't matter. Uh, it's a lot of good defense, though. It's a very good defense, and I think that's a very good core mod to have to make the whole game a lot easier. So we'll build on that. We'll either build the mod pack afresh using a lot of the mods from The Walking Dead, and we'll start a new season where we'll uh, pit ourselves against a higher difficulty um, and learn from our mistakes. Or we will continue and I'll add some more mods and hope that it all works nicely in Alpha 17. Uh, but let's just see what uh, Squint wants. <laughs> what Squint, what do you want, Squint? How And how do you want it? Uh, let's get Chief to go and have a quick word with Squint. Come on, quick. Run. You'll need to run, Chief. You'll need to run. They're all just going to go and sleep down here anyway. You need to run. Let's go and see what they've got. Uh, okay, well... Uh, I want to buy components, so whatever components you've got. They've got two components, that's nothing really, but that'll do. We'll have that. And I want to sell loads and loads of cool stuff to you, but you don't really have anything. So let's let's just sell some insect jelly, because everyone wants some insect jelly until the point where you're actually giving me uh, money. Yeah, there we go. Accept and goodbye. All right, well, that is it for today's episode. It may be that's all for Season 1. Let me know in the comments down below what you want me to do about Season 2, and I shall do that before the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again very soon. Goodbye.